Hi friends, welcome back to Life Ray workshop. So in this workshop, I will try to demonstrate how to create basically a search container in Life Ray. So in my previous tutorial, I have created a module wherein I was saving some details regarding automobile like the manufacturer details, year of manufacturing, vehicle identification number, body style, model of the car and I also show how to submit those content. So now I want to show all the data in a search container wherein I can show a limited number of result on a page and I want to have some type of pagination implemented. So I will demonstrate how we can do it in Liferay now. So so if you see after my submit I am sending my request to a next page that is details.jsp which I have created here. Now I will be creating a code which will be using the search container tag from Liferay to implement the same functionality. So let's start. So I include the required APIs which will be needed for this project. I am also creating a render URL basically which will be a iteration iterator URL which will be coming back to same GSP. This I will be needing for the search container later on. So library UI tag library provides this search container tag through which you can create your search container. So I need to include this tag search iterator tag so that I can iterate through the result. So this is mandatory and this search container object is an implicit object which will be coming inside the search container tag. So here I add a message so when there is no result I can see a message that there is no auto details available which you can write down in your language dot properties the message which you want so I'm just adding the mapping here I'm defining the header names of the columns basically which I will need to display the results like I will be displaying year model vehicle identification number manufacturer user ID and all those details So I am just adding the iterator URL here. This will help the search container to iterate through the results. And with delta I am defining that I need maximum 10 number of results on the search container page at once. Along with that delta configurable tag will define whether you want this uh, number of results to be shown uh, configurable I mean can the user can uh, select that he wants 10 results or 20 results or 30 results on the page so I am just making it true so that he can configure it according to his ease so I have to use Liferay UI search container results tag in order to calculate the results which I have to show in this particular page. So 
So I am first using auto details local service util to get all the results from the database into a list called auto details list. Then I am calculating the results which has to be shown on this particular page. So I am setting now these data to the search container implicit object. Now basically I am creating the search container row which will be uh, used to show all these data. So I am defining the class name. Basically this is the model uh, class name which for which you are creating this search container. So in this case it is auto details class. So the primary key ID will be auto details ID of this particular model class. And this is the variable current variable which it is showing for the row. So I define my first column that is year. I want to show year and uh, the header name should be year. Basically you can either use it here or here. So if I am writing it here it will override whatever I am writing written here. So the property which I have to show in this particular column will be year. Similarly I do it for model. I create a column text for model and uh, for vehicle identification number. Then for the manufacturer details and then the user ID. So I save the details which I have written here. Let's go uh, go ahead and deploy this particular module. So this is inside auto details module. I go ahead and deploy it. Build successful. Let's go on the localhost colon eight zero eight zero. I'm already here. Let's refresh the page. Okay, so uh, I am redirecting to the search container after submitting. So let's submit some detail here as well. Let's save it out. So you can see now it is showing the results in a search container. So you can just browse through the results. Next, next. You can see it is showing. It is changing with the page the number of results. So here you can also configure the number of results which you want to show on a page. Look 
it gets changed. And you can directly go to a page where you want to see the result. So this is the way how you can basically create a search container in Liferay. Thank you. Meet you again in the next tutorial.